Hey, I'm Crystal. I'm Nick. And this is our bus build. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us for part three of our bus build. This part's going to have a look at our bathroom, shower, how we built the space and how we put it all together. If you would like a closer look at how we've done anything in this video, you can always head over to our Instagram page and check out our story highlights. We film everything on there in real time. Otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or drop a comment below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. So our bathroom build has probably been one of our biggest challenges so far. Not only is it really hard to work with the curves of the bus, it's also hard to keep the weight down and maintain a strong frame. So the first thing we did was purchase our shower base. We got it online from eBay, it was about $120. We got the one meter by 70 centimeter shower base. It didn't come with a drain or a waste. It just has the hole there, so we had to purchase that separately. We got that from Bunnings for $20. Um, after that, we started on the framing. So we had to measure out the distance between um, where the kitchen bench top was going to go and where the shower would end. From there, we started framing up um, the walls. frames were up we started on the inner walls we used marine fire for this because we wanted it to be waterproof and if any leaks happened to get through we wanted to try and prevent that from rotting so we used marine ply for that we also insulated in the wall as well just with some foil insulation and some earth wool so we cut the marine ply to size and then fixed it to the walls using screws and we also sticker flexed in some areas that needed it too. We wanted to keep our window area open. We wanted to make sure that we could get as much natural light as possible and also ventilation. We do need to move the handle from one of the windows to the inside so that you can open that window when you're in the shower. We also built a little um, ledge next to the window so that we can put like a plant there and also like some shampoo and conditioner. It'll just be used as a little storage area. Once we had all of the marine ply in place, we sealed all of the joins with some silicon. Then we measured out where we wanted the shower head to be and then we started on the waterproofing. Once the few coats of waterproofing was done, we put our walls up. We chose Core Flute for our walls because it's really, really light. It's also really, really cheap. 
we looked into getting like the pre-made shower shells that you can get for caravans and stuff like that but they were so expensive and we kind of wanted to do it ourselves anyway so we chose core flute it's waterproof um, as well and you can cut it to pretty much any shape that you want so if we'd bought like acrylic walls or something it'd be really really hard to work with the curves of the bus so core flute worked out perfect we love the look of it it is low budget um, and it's not perfect but it does the job and it honestly looks amazing. We're really, really happy with it. So we started by cutting them to the sizes that we need and then we just used Sikaflex to stick it onto the waterproof walls. And then we sealed the joins um, with Sikaflex as well. So I'm just going to take you for a little walk through of the bathroom now. Although it is quite a large bathroom, it can be a little bit pokey to get videos of, so I'll do my best. Um, so from the outside here, you can see um, the wall that we've done. We still need to finish off this side wall here. Up the top there, we also need to put some silicon um, at the top right hand side. We just have to leave that accessible at the moment because our solar panels bolt down through that part of the roof so we just need to have that accessible. So this was the wall that we done. So then we've got our shower waste there and then this is the little, I don't know what you call it. 
Nejšmi. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, subscribe or follow on our Instagram and TikTok links below. <laughs> what? I was like...